92.5. Second date update. We've got a woman on the phone for a second date update today who says that she regrets not going out with a guy oh. that she was supposed to see. Okay, that's good. And her name is Elizabeth. Why are you? Elizabeth, how are you? Hi, it's actually Elizabeth Er. Elizabeth Er? Eliz- okay. I thought I'm sorry, I thought that was just a typo on my sheet. No, that's my name. Okay, Elizabeth Thur. It's just Elizabeth and then you add an E on. Oh my god, she wants <laughs> she wants to hang up on us. She I hates like us. It. Do you know how no. many times you've had this conversation in your life? Let me guess. Eight billion. Yeah, a lot. Okay. Well could we just call you Liz? No, I mean Elizabeth Thur is my name, so I usually I like to go by my name. Can we call yeah. you Er? Okay. You guys you want just hear, call you want her all Elizabeth. five syllables to be heard. All right. <laughs> Elizabeth yeah. there. So you said that you regret not going out with the guy. What was his name? His name is Ben. Okay. Very short. One syllable to your five. I like that, Lord. Elizabeth. Well, maybe that's short for his real name, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We got to stop. I'm so sorry. I'm really happy you listened and you're on the phone with us. Just Ben. Okay, okay. just Ben. So, yeah, got it. So we don't, got I don't it. mean to make you angry. It's to tell us about Ben. <laughs> We'll stop. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? So we met six months ago through friends. Oh, wow. Long that was a long time. Ago. Yeah. Was it like a setup where you were supposed to go out on a date or you just like were friendly? No, we're just part of the same friend group. Okay. So we've never actually had a one-on-one date. We've just hung out in groups. Oh. Okay. And when did you start, I don't know, liking him? Well, I just like him as a friend. and He's a sweet guy. He really is. He's kind of shy, though. He's not really, like, my type. He's not the hottest guy ever. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so you're regretting not going out with him so you can friend zone him and show him where he belongs? Like, No. I'm actually trying to help him out. Tell us what happened. Well, we were at a bar with a group of people, but then the group went to go order us another round, and it was just me and him sitting uh-huh. down for a couple minutes. And he's a telemarketer. That's, like, what he does. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of acting nervous and shy, like, and he said, there's something going on at work. So I just tried to be a good friend and was like, well, what's going on? Like, what's wrong? So he said he needed to ask me something. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So he told me he actually won this award. Uh, He just named, like, telemarketer of the year at his job. And I was like, well, that's awesome. They have an award for that? I don't know. God. One guy who actually did work. The Oscars of telemarketing. (laughs) The award that you want to hide, because if anyone finds out you do that much telemarketing, yeah. they hate you. Yeah, you're the best at it, apparently. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was real proud of it. He's really passionate about what he does. Okay. Hey, you're good right. at what you do, right? I guess you have to be if you're going to interrupt a lot of 60-year-olds' dinner time, you know? So, <laughs> right. So what was the problem? So apparently, along with this award, there's also this big gala that they have, this big dance and dinner for all the winners. Gala. Oh. Gala? Like a yeah. telemarketer's ball? It was, yeah, telemarketer gala. Oh, wow. wow. God. God. Everyone, don't you just want to go and interrupt it all the time? <laughs> just a, Every five minutes? All the world's worst people in one room together. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, he was really excited about it, but he wanted me to accompany him. Uh-huh. He assured me it would just be as a friend, that no strings attached, it didn't mean oh, anything really? more. And you said no to that? I said no. I don't blame you, girl. Honestly, a telemarketer's ball, not what I would want to do on a Friday night. It could be any job's ball. If they're having a big celebration, that's important to any company. It's not a very good friend move to say no. You gotta gotta admit to that. Totally. Well, I know, but I just feel like you go to this gala, you're all dressed up. I'm not positive that he's going to try and keep it just friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know how those telemarketer balls go. Mm. I see what you're saying. (laughs) Things get crazy. I just want a second of your time. Next thing you know, dress is off. (laughs) And you're on a cruise for 10 days. You don't know how you ended up with that. You're committed to it. So where are you at now? So now I just found out that he asked another friend of ours, and she said yes to go with him. But she's nasty like she is not a nice person and she talks crap about him behind his back all the time Aww. and then i found out that he was going to pay her two hundred dollars to be his date Whoa, right that's where your regret really set in yeah. <laughs> for once you were going to get paid by a telemarketer well yeah and i'm like at that point are you like a paid escort 
for it. Like, that's weird. And yeah. she doesn't even like him. So she's, like, using him for money, using him oh, for, like, no. a nice night out and a nice dinner. Like, Yeah, you should be using him for money and a nice night out. <laughs> Not this random girl. No, that's why I contacted you. I want him to ask me to go again. Like, I want to go with him because this girl is awful. Mm. And honestly, he doesn't have to pay me. Like, I'll go. Because I feel bad for him. Well, that's tricky, though, because if he's a nice guy, he's not going to dump a date, even if he's paying for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just goes against nice guy protocol. Yeah. That's why I contacted you guys. That's why I need your help, because I need to tell him to take me instead. You went from, like, no date to girls fighting over Yeah, this is pretty fun. He's going to love this. (laughs) Well, we're going to play a song, come back, and call Ben for you and try and get you a second date update. All right, Elizabeth Er? Okay. Right. Thank you. Hold on. Moving ninety two point five. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for today's second date update, we've been talking to a lovely woman named Elizabeth Her. That's Elizabeth with an ER at the end. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth Her <laughs> is feeling regretful because mm-hmm. she was invited to go to the event of the century, Ooh. the Telemarketers Gala, Ooh. where there'll be awards. Ooh drinks and of course dancing while wearing headsets and making cold calls <laughs> telemarketers never take a day off no. it's truly a spectacle to behold mm-hmm. the telemarketers ball <laughs> elizabeth was invited to this event by a guy named ben but she turned it down and now she's having second thoughts because afterwards ben asked a different lady to go and this is a lady that elizabeth or knows and is not a fan of here's the thing i mean he's paying her to go with him i don't know if he cares that she's i mean who knows all of that but are you worried at all that he's going to get the wrong idea that you want to be more than friends I think if we lay down some ground rules and make it really clear that this is just a friend's thing, I think we can keep it still, like, clear that it's not to be anything more. Well, I wouldn't count it out. You don't know the magic that happens at these telemarketers' (laughs) balls. You might be changing your mind. I don't know about that. (laughs) Wait, are we going to get him on the phone? I mean, like, how do we do this? Are we going to trash the woman that he's going out with? No, I don't want to trash the other girl. I don't even think we need to talk about her. Mm. I just want to get him on the phone and tell him that I do want to go with him. I change my mind and see if he'll just make the decision. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to try it out right now. We're about to dial his phone number. You ready? Yep. Okay. Here we go, Elizabeth. -er. (laughs) Hello. Hi. Can I speak to Ben, please? This is Ben. Could I ask who's calling? Hi, Ben. My name's young Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. You have a moment to talk? Uh, we're, we're not, yeah, we're not interrupting you during anything important, are we? <laughs> ben, we have an offer you may not be able to refuse. Can we have a moment of your time? Yeah. What's going on here? Ben, are you satisfied with your current cell phone service? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Who are you guys and why are you pranking me right now? <laughs> It's not a prank, Ben. We're a morning radio show, and we do something on our show called a second date update. That's what this is. Okay, but I haven't been on any dates. Good well, point. That, yes. Yeah. Normally, what we do is we call people who've gone out on a date, and afterwards, they're not getting a call back, so we try and figure out the reason why. But in this case, you actually haven't gone out with the person that reached out to us. All right. Yeah. There's a friend that was calling about you. Her name is Elizabeth Er. <laughs> Okay, yeah, she called you guys? Yeah, she says that you had a really important work function coming up. And you were getting a big award, a big telemarketing award? Congrats, by the way. Thank you. Um, I asked her to go with me, but she turned me down, so I'm, exactly. I don't know. Yeah, she told us that, and she also said that after she turned you down, now apparently your plans have changed. Yes, that's correct. I asked another person to go with me. Mm-hmm. Is it your mom? <laughs> ha ha very funny uh, oh your mom turned you down too no you Gosh, guys is... stop it <laughs> i'm sorry ben ben were you super bummed when elizabeth or originally said that she didn't want to go yes i mean you know i i was excited to go with her like you know we've been friends for a little bit i thought she would have loved to have gone and had a good time and then yes. she's just like she said it wasn't her thing and turned me down and i'm like that's kind of not cool you know that hurt right. but yeah. 
But the good news is, as a telemarketer, you're used to rejection. So. <laughs> Couldn't have heard that. that I mean, there's some truth to that. Yeah, if, if you don't get the one, you you kind of you got to keep moving forward. All right. Mm -hmm. But you still like her? Yes, she's so pretty and just. I probably shouldn't have even asked her. I, I think she's a little bit out of my league. Um, well, hold on, Ben. What if I told you that Elizabeth or was having second thoughts about her decision? Uh, I don't know. What if I told you? that Elizabeth's biggest desire is to get it on uh. with the best telemarketer in all the land. Oh, my God. That... <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, what if she yeah. wants to be the Guinevere to your Lancelot? Oh. Oh, oh does that sound his, good? Yeah, you're talking his language. Yeah, that'd be Okay, awesome. well, I'm, I'm just kidding about all the getting it on stuff, but seriously, what if oh, Elizabeth -er, she what if she wishes that she'd said yes? Um, I mean, that'd be great. That would be the night of my life. It's like something out of a Disney movie. Well, I'm bringing it up because Elizabeth -er is actually on the other line listening, and she wants to talk to you right now. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, she's there. Elizabeth -er? Hey, Ben. Elizabeth -er? <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. I can hear the Are whole you listening thing. listening this entire time? I have. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my god, you're so cute! He like brightens up when he hears uh. it. Elizabeth or tell him! <laughs> so, I actually changed my mind and I want to go to the telemarketers gala with you. Yay! What? Yeah! Mm -hmm. Good news! Yeah. I thought more about it and I realized that I was mean to you and that's not the kind of person I am and I really think it's the right thing to do for me to say yes and for us to go together. Um, I would love that. That's what I wanted to do, but um, now I've got another date. I'm sure you probably heard that I pivoted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I can talk to her. I will break the news to her that, you know, it's going to be me going instead of her. Oh. Um, wait a sec. Uh, I don't think you should do that. I can handle my own dates. Thank you very much. That's um, right, Ben. Oh, look at you, baller. Own your business. Okay. I can't believe that, like, there's two girls fighting over me right now. Uh -huh. I, I'm not even used to having one girl fight hey, over me. Hey, look at you, dude. Man, the star-studded life of a telemarketer on top of his game. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right now. I don't know why. But yeah, you know. are. Yeah, you're like the LeBron <laughs> James of telemarketing right now. Wow. Dude, Ben! This is your night, this man. Is awesome. Thanks. Um, <laughs> man. Okay. Well, so Elizabeth, so you're down to go then? Yes. As your friend, though. And I think it's probably a good idea if we set some ground rules just to be sure. All right, Buzzkill. Oh, okay. the vibe just. Ground rules? What do you. I, I was thinking both of you girls can go with me. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I could make sure I get another ticket and another seat at the table, but um, both of you can go. Dude, what on each other? No, stop. That would be a no, sight to that see. is not what I had in mind. No, Elizabeth, great. I'm with you. Wait, are we creating a monster right now? Wait, ben, no, slow right, down, hold dude. On, hold on, Wait. that is his friend. It doesn't matter if it's his date or not. He could have two girls if they're both his friends. Oh, I'm sure that's what he's thinking, too. Isn't that what you're thinking, Ben? <laughs> you guys know how baller I would look with two hot dates? Okay. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, baller, You'd be yeah. like, Hugh Hefner walking into that telemarketers yeah. gala. Plus, I'm getting an award. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Wow. He's nice. like the Leonardo DiCaprio of telemarketing. <laughs> Come on, Elizabeth. -er. That is not what I signed up for. But. Well, you're going to be helping this guy's fantasy come true. No, and don't and say that. he knows what the rules are. He knows that you're friends. I mean, yeah. I will say. The boundary's set. If you want to be a good friend. No, see, here's what I'm willing to offer. That's okay. if you take me to this gala, just me, I will dance with you. Oh. Okay. I will drink with you. Mm -hmm. See, I mentioned I would dance. Okay. <laughs> It'll be a fun night. But I'm not going okay. to go. I'm not going to go if you're also bringing her. Like, I'm trying to do what? something nice for you here and avoid you having to take her. What? Well, I don't know why you'd want me to avoid taking her, but, you know, I did want to go with you. And if you went, would it be okay if I called you my girlfriend? Oh. Oh. 
Uh, I think calling your girlfriend would just be a step too far. What about like Aww. special friend? Special friend sounds good. No, that sounds like a booty call. <laughs> well, just stick with friend. That's the deal. That's the offer. All right. So we've laid out the ground rules. Ben, what do you say? Will you go out with Elizabeth or to the telemarketer's ball, but Ooh. only with her? Okay. Okay, yeah. she's not into the triple dip thing. <laughs> yeah. This is a hard choice here. Um, I can see why, buddy. Uh, um, Elizabeth, or I think it'd be great to go with you, but I think you're being a little pushy with the ground rules. Mm-hmm. Um, which is kind of taking some of the fun out of it, so I think I'm going to respectfully decline. Oh, what? Hold what? on. Wow. Who saw that? Really, coming? Ben? I don't know. No way. I kind of get it. Elizabeth, I mean, like, all you really offered to do is dance with him and kind of lame, <laughs> you know? Well, what else am I supposed to do? We're just friends. Get it. I just, like, give him some love, you know, hold his hand. At least second base. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that this just happened. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> you just got ditched. <laughs> oh. Wow. He's a player. Wow. Oh, my God. He's out of control. <laughs> Whatever, Ben. The only reason she's even going with you is because you're paying her $200. I would have gone for free. Oh, man. You're probably kind of butthurt because I said no to you. What's it like? <laughs> Oh. We've created a monster. We did. <laughs> you know what, Ben? This is so not like you. But if that's the person you want to be, then go ahead and enjoy your telemarketer's gala, and I will happily stay home. Oh, wow. Me and my date are going to be on the dance floor while you're sitting home. We're going to be going YMCA. <laughs> YMCA. Yeah. yeah, Ben, you get it. Yeah. Oh, you can get yourself clean. You can have a good meal. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.